April 10th, St. Batimus, Martyr. Batimus was a rich and noble citizen of Bethlapata in Persia, who founded a monastery near that city which he governed with great sanctity. He conducted his religious in the pass of perfection with sweetness, prudence, and charity. To crown his virtue, God permitted him, with seven of his monks, to be apprehended by the followers of King Sapor in the thirty-sixth year of his persecution. He lay four months in a dungeon, loaded with chains, during which he every day received a number of stripes. But he triumphed over his torments by the patience and joy with which he suffered them for Christ. At the same time, a Christian lord named Nurzan, prince of Arya, was cast into prison because he refused to adore the sun. At first he showed some resolution, but at the sight of the torturers his constancy failed him, and he promised to conform. The king, to try to see if his change was sincere, ordered Batimus to be introduced into the prison of Nurzan, which was a chamber in the royal palace, and sent word to Nurzan that if he would dispatch Batimus, he should be restored to his liberty and former dignities. The wretch accepted the condition. A sword was put into his hand, and he advanced to plunge it into the breast of the abbot. But being seized with a sudden terror, he stopped short, and remained some time without being able to lift his arms to strike. He had neither the courage to repent, nor the heart to accomplish his crime. He strove, however, to harden himself, and continued with a trembling hand to aim at the sides of the martyr. Fear, shame, remorse, and respect for the martyr made his strokes forceless and unsteady, and so great was the number of the martyr's wounds that the bystanders were in admiration at his invincible patience. After four strokes, the martyr's head was severed from the trunk. Nurzen, a short time after, falling into public disgrace, perished by the sword. The body of St. Batimus was reproachfully cast out of the city by the infidels, but was secretly carried away and interred by the Christians. His disciples were released from their chains four years afterwards upon the death of King Sapor. St. Batimus suffered on the 10th of April in the year 376.